imposed on Russia have cost the EU $100 billion last year and that you're damaging the EU? Sir, wait a minute, answer that. That you stupid so girls who surround you, the idiots in your sorority who came up with the sanctions on Russia, have actually hurt the European Union as much. Sir, you're not answering the question now. Be fair. Inside of Russia, which may be why the Beltway is so impressed, because that tends to be the measure of success. Yeah, and so um, you're admitting your poll ratings are in the toilet, of course. Of course, it's, it's the fake poll ratings that you that you could, can't gin up anymore. Um, but but this is over not there. A, a oh, I think I'm going to start the filibuster this speech in a minute. Either I could turn it off or filibuster and it altogether. What Russia has now done is not only committed its own. He's rambling on. Oh, he went into the accent uh, now. A situation in which he switched. The Must be hard for him to remember which accent to use. The southerner, as an the oppressed enemy. minority, but the effete white boy from Honolulu. He doesn't know which one to be. Is going to see it as the, the man who never held a job in his life, the former pothead. Those barrel bombs landing on kids. What barrel bombs? At a time when over Russia and over the rhetoric is barrel bombs, barrel bombs, barrel bombs, barrel. Like what Russia's barrel bombs? Its own borders that it needs to worry about. You're talking like you're a cra over a cracker barrel now. Um, I want. Okay, Russia let's break to away to a caller on the savage. Marty on KQH. I'm not going to listen to the president for a minute. What's on your mind? Hey, Doctor Savage. Um, you mentioned a couple times about the Oregon shooter being uh, Wiccan. And I called because uh, when I was younger, I had personal experience with that. I was unfortunately raised a Democrat and um, got into Wicca and drugs around the age of 18. Well, sure, that's the religion of the Democrat Party in Oregon is Wicca. Right, and I was eventually landed in jail and was lucky enough to meet a jailhouse chaplain who also uh, introduced me to your radio program in 2005. And that helped to cure me of the uh, mental disease of liberalism. And well, of course, every host wants to hear something like that, a great success story. But I don't doubt that you're telling the truth. It, and, uh, Marty, I mean, you see things for what they are. You know, you've been through to hell and back. And you've had to change your whole life to come back as a normal human being. I mean, I, I cannot believe what I'm watching. This guy is a cult leader. Obama's starting to look more, more and more like Jim Jones than the president of the United States. Definitely. I'm telling you, Marty, it's a tough time for anyone with any rational brain to put up with this any longer. Is there any way to get regime change over here? Can we call in another superpower to help us to come in and help Obama transition out of the White House before the end of 2016? Is there any way to get regime change prior to that? Marty, stay on the line. I'm going to send you government zero out in a week or so. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Um, then it makes me want to be better. Makes me want to do better. We're listening uh, in on the verbal flatulence coming Those people from the are White great House gifts right to the now. world. And sometimes they're just a teacher in a classroom. The verbal flatulence that is emanating from the White and House now is sufficient to raise the temperature neighbor. of and the sometimes they're your mom. atmosphere by 0 0.1 degrees sometimes centigrade over a period but, of 100 years. Yeah, you know, they can encourage you to be better. Okay, so here is a man who is in such trouble because of his failures on every level that he's standing up there just posturing and babbling on and on instead of directing people to the Heroes GoFundMe page. There was a hero, by the way, in the, in the shooting, a former Army veteran who charged the, the, the animal shooter <clears throat> with his bare hands, and Obama hasn't mentioned them once. Did you notice that? Has Obama mentioned that this guy targeted Christians once? No. God forbid he had targeted Muslims. God forbid. Oh, my God, the government would be in overdrive about hatred and, and targeting minorities. All right, let's 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 try it one more second. I don't know how much longer I could take. Give it 30 seconds. What's he doing now? I, I can't see. Who is he going to give me a cooking recipe, a cooking uh, tip? Diet advice. Oh, he left. Oh, he left. Thank God. Okay, we can rest easy now. Can you? How do they rate these things? They go back. You did great. Oh, sir, you were amazing. You wowed them. Thumbs up. Imagine all the sorority girls with the smiles. 
Josh did the makeup in the mirror in the room. Great. Oh, unbelievable. Josh Ernst is in tears right now. Has to like reach for a Xanax. He got so excited. Then the news media. Chris Matthews must have to go get like napkins to wipe himself from what just happened. Anderson Cooper must be broken down. They have to like resurrect him for the show later. He must be broken with tears. Imagine Anderson Cooper just probably weeping hysterically. His master just spoke. Record 94 million Americans not in labor force, lowest since 77. It's all on the top of the Drudge Report. He doesn't make up the stories. 56 million women not working. Jobs up only for immigrants, down 262,000 for native-born. Payrolls disaster. Fed never going to raise rates. Bank talks, bank talks stumble? No, bank stocks tumble. Bank talks stumble. Bank stocks tumble. Markets at panic levels. Did anyone ask him a question about the economy? No. Not one question. Mr. Obama, since you claim we're going through the greatest recovery in history, how come these numbers are so horrible? Not one. Mr. Obama, how come you didn't say that the gunman singled out Christians during a rampage? Not one. Mr. Obama, how come you didn't single out the army vet who was shot seven times trying to save others? Why didn't you give out his GoFundMe page, which is on michaelsavage.com, sir? Answer. Because I am what I am. It's the old story of the scorpion and the frog. He walked them across the river and gave him a sting job. All right, you got the picture. It's Friday. Lighten up. Okay, WJR, John, fire away. What's on your mind? Yes, I, I noted Obama a few minutes ago made a very in-passing reference to the gun violence in Chicago by saying it was simply an evolution of what was probably fist violence from prior times. He slipped in and answered... Wait, wait, uh, wait. what violence? It was, it was an evolution of what, of what violence? Well, he didn't say evolution, but he said that previously uh, what would have been handled by fist fights is now being handled by guns. And this, to me, was his easy answer to this consistent failure to address the massive problem of gun violence in Chicago. What do you ascribe the gun violence in Chicago to? Well, it's certainly cultural, but it also has to do with... Yeah, of course it's cultural, but you can't say that because that sounds racist, right? Well, exactly, but you can't, but he has... And, and number two, there is a solution to gun violence in Chicago and Oakland, which is send in the National Guard to seize guns from the gang members in these districts where the gun violence is occurring. Take their guns away. Certainly. Certainly. You know, I keep hearing about guns, guns, guns. Start with the problem. Where the problem is. Start with the gangs. Take their guns away. He won't do that because it points out the failure of his, uh, of his ability. Okay, let's follow the idiocy of liberalism. He wants to take away guns from the law-abiding citizen. How does that attack guns in the hands of the mentally ill and guns in the hand of gang members? It doesn't. So all it does is make the people in the middle class more vulnerable. Of course. Certainly. You're not wrong. Isn't that what he wants? It Doesn't he want to attack the kulaks? Isn't that what he's doing? Well, he's very sensitive because of the fact that he comes from Chicago and, he was, and he's failed to... Right. And his good friend, uh, whatever his name is, uh, go the godfather there, I, I forgot it already. His brother runs the agency in Hollywood. What's his name there? I don't remember his name. The, who's the mayor of Chicago? Oh, uh, the former Clinton. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, we can't even remember it. The two brothers there took over America. The father was the mem a member of the Israeli Argun, and the two sons did very well in America. One runs Chicago, the other runs Hollywood. I mean, it's this is the Savage Nation. The phone number is 855 The website's michaelsavage.com. The book is government. Richard, no, come on. Richard Daly died 10 years ago. That's my staff tells me Richard Daly. Can you believe this? They don't know the, the, the mayor of, of Chicago. Come on, guys. You're smarter than that. Yeah, no kidding, Rahm Emanuel. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Well, we roll into hour number three on a roll here. What's this? What's this? I'm joking. 
for an active shooter at UCC, 1174 Medical Aid. We have a report of one person shot. UCC, 1140 on Carcola Road, an active okay, shooter. Okay, those are the actual 9-11 tapes. I don't know if I can listen. Just a minute or two. Give us 30 seconds. That's the, Somebody is outside one of the doors, shooting through the door. There is a female in the computer lab. All right. that, that's one. that's horrible. The Antichrist shooter it was a teetotaling Nazi, bought an SS hat, came from England, despised Christians, and Obama said nothing about his Christian his attack on, attack on Christians. Moreover than that, Obama is such a loser as a, as a, a president. He didn't mention the hero Chris Mintz, former Army veteran, ten years in the military, who was at the college student. Brushed at the gunman with his bare hands, shot numerous times to protect others. And your president, your low-life president, didn't take a minute out to say anything about him nor telling people to go to the gun GoFundMe page. Nothing. It's a repeat of history. Remember the three heroes on the French train? What did Obama really say about them? Nothing. Why didn't he say anything about Chris Mintz? Nothing. Why? Okay, you know the reasons I don't have to go over and over the same points every day. It gets boring. Chris Harper Mercer, pictures of the shooter. Well, okay, let that go. Media war against Russia's airstrike. Airstrikes on ISIS aimed at ousting Russia from the Mideast, says the Russian news agency TASS. Okay, well, that's their point of view. Hey, did you see this little story? The president of Argentina said that Obama tried to convince them to give Iran nuclear fuel before they did the deal with Iran. Oh, really? And she's a leftist, no less. And she said that. Huh. How do you like that? The Argentine president said Obama administration tried to convince us to give Iran nuclear fuel. That's a dead story already. You know, Netanyahu went home with his hat in his hand. It's over. Israel's beaten. I don't mean on the battlefield. Don't get me wrong. But on the field of diplomacy, Obama has destroyed Israel. He humiliated Israel. He beat Netanyahu to a pulp, which should make all of you liberals very happy. After all, Netanyahu loves his people, loves his borders, language, and culture, loves his Jewish religion. This should make you uh, Wiccans very happy. There goes another one. Check it off. Israel gone. Obama neutralized them. The only thing left that he needs to knock down in order to take over the whole world is, is Russia. The darn Russia. God, if that damn Putin would only get out of the way. Then, we, then he can have a perfect world that he runs after he leaves office, if he ever does. Did you hear his speech in the last hour, the Nixon moment that I pointed out? He drifted off into a, Nixon, a Nixonian moment. Some people say I'm going to stay in power long after my regime. They, they say that I'm a communist. No, it's not true. It's not true. This was a Captain Quig job. All he needed was the two steel balls in his hand rubbing together with the strawberries on the table. That's too esoteric a reference. Now, I'm very self-critical lately because I realize my references are so esoteric, no one knows what I'm talking about. Like 1,300 people probably know what I just said. Out of an audience of, let's say, an average quarter hour of three football fields, maybe 300 people understood my reference to Captain Quig, uh, the two steel balls and the strawberries. Who? No one even knows the, the novel or the, or the movie. This is a product of being um, too literate. Uh, too academic in some ways. I admit it. I'm not. I'm not really as as let's say as simplistic as a the average hot dog eater. I'm not as simplistic as your average cigar smoking, uh, hamburger eating talk show host. I can make it as simple as that for you. I can't do a show though. You want me to just do that and revert to that? Democrats bad. Republicans not good. Uh, Obama horrible. Liberals horrible. We got to beat up liberals every day. Who's going to listen to that? Well, apparently a lot of you do. That's all you want to hear. You're working in an auto shop somewhere with the machines going. You just want to hear the same thing every day, and that's okay. That's the way it goes. You're not going to buy Government Zero. You don't read. Most of you Eddies, who, who you, you love this show, but you don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. You don't read. You want to read about exposing military destruction or you want to exposing the Pope's hidden agenda. You don't need that in your, in your body shop. The sound of the rat, the wrench is taking off the, the, the hub. I'm not knocking it. I watch car shows. I don't know where the audience is anymore. I mean, I do and I don't. It's not like the show's not doing well. It is, but the thing is, 
I'm telling you, the uh, the show is changing, radio is changing, the world is changing, and I have to change with it. The problem is, is I can't be anybody but myself. So I'll continue to be myself. I will conduct business as usual. 